ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from the break. And it's time for us to get into a conversation with a woman that, for me personally, trust me, like, I am actually starstruck. Wow. <laughs> because um, she's with someone that, I mean, we've been listening to all over these years and reading her story about how she even got back to school is much more inspiring and gets me, you know, like, feeling a lot, a lot of things inside me as I'm about to, or we're about to talk to her. Listen, the first dance I did in church, where you are is not your lady. <laughs> so, I mean, the sky is your... I remember Pani yeah. go, go, go. I remember that one very, very well. And a lot of songs that she's blessed us with. Done this for a very, very long time. Long, long time. And we'll get to know more about that. And over that period, what she's been doing, and for those of you who do not know her new profession, mm-hmm. you'll get to know that today. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest is the one and only... Philippa Buffy. Yay, yay. Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon. Wow. Mm. How many years now since the first time you released a song? 25 years. 25 yes. years. Now, me home, Sunny, was my first one. After that, Mojana Kasa. I'm a mother. Exactly. Then, Ochesunya, me, yes, you're my last stop. I go dance, go high. The other one some of me, Jimmy D, and so oh. on and so forth. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. How does it feel that 25 years on, like you're still here and you're doing music? Well, um, it hasn't been an easy journey. Mm. But by the grace of God, here I am now. And I give all the glory to God and also um, to my fans and for their support and everything. Mm. Yeah. yeah we, we, we thank God for that. But... Uh, you are a shark. In the first place, <laughs> she went to one of the, you know, the girls' schools in Kumasi yeah, that everybody yeah, likes right. to talk about since Monica, you know. And yeah. she was the girls' prefect. Exactly. And with the science club. Hey, you. Hey, wow. So you know everything. Oh, I, I really had to dig in to, to, to get to um, some of these. But, and also knowing that you started singing very early, you're doing yeah. Shabudia, mm-hmm. what would be power from church to church, <laughs> moving here and there. When you were doing all of these things, were you seeing it as like a profession that you wanted to do? And also knowing that you were very good in academics, was there a tussle as to what you were really going to do at that point? Yes, you know, growing up, me, I see the music ministry as a call of God upon my life. Okay. From day one. And um, there was a time that even I was asked by my family to choose between, yes, the singing and mm. my studies. Okay. And I, to- I told them that I choose both. And <laughs> <laughs> they didn't understand it at all. Okay. Mm. That is it. Because I see this one as a calling. Mm. I'm talking about the, the music. The music. Yeah. Mm. And um, the other side of me too is something that I'm passionate about. You're passionate about. And I want to do it. Mm. That is it. So it's two different things altogether. But that time, they didn't understand. Mm. And now I know that they, they, <laughs> they definitely are proud of, of you it. and how far you have come. Yeah. And, and before I didn't come in, with, still with the schooling thing, you still went on and even did your beauty therapy thing and all of those things, you know, outside Ghana, coming back mm. and all that. Aside doing music, how are you juggling? That together because music you have to stay in the studio yeah. most often make sure that the song and even how it was done back then is different from how it's done now it's true mm. it's true um it's been about um almost eight years mm. since I, I i took some break off to go back to school seriously it it, it is it isn't easy mm. because um i didn't do any other course than medicine and doing medicine to become a physician assistant is not easy mm. um but one thing is that in life is about determination. Okay. You are not going to get anything by silver platter, but you have to work towards it. So, first of all, even though um, I had the support of God, my husband, and other, I mean, people around me, mm-hmm. but the, most of it rests on you, how you are going to apportion your time. That is the time I'm doing this, this is the time I'm doing this. And it's about determination and discipline. This is what I want to do. Mm. And where I have come to, because it was, I, I, I break at the peak of my career. True. Yeah. It wasn't easy. True. But what I did was that I, make, I made sure that I disciplined myself. 
that if I have to do the two of them simultaneously, then I need to apportion my time. This time is for this. This time is for that. When it comes to my studies, I tell you, I don't joke with it. But when imagine. it comes to the work of God too, time may be, I mean, waiting upon God for songs, I make sure that, you know, there is something that I started a, 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 um, earlier, mm. before even I came out, that is waiting upon God every time before I come out. And that is something that I don't want to miss it, mm. even though God has brought me far. Okay. Every time I want to go back to it, whenever I want to come out with an album. So I, most of the time I, I will be, I mean, waiting upon God. And that is something that I was even doing. So um, time for studies, time to wait upon God, for God to tell me when to come out. Drop it. That is it. So that is how I, 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 I did it. Really, really inspiring. Yeah, yeah. Very. Yeah. Because I'm also wondering, you know, during the time of, you know, studies, mm -hmm. was there no a point in time where, you know, God says, okay, I have a project for you, now you have to go. And if that happens, what are you going to do? Are you going to choose in between studies and, and, and then come? Or you are going to say, okay, let me hold on till I'm done. Did that no. even happen during the time you were yes, studying? Yes, yes. During mm -hmm. that time, um, I have a foundation, the Philippa Bethy Foundation. Okay. okay. So we combine the gospel and health screening. Okay. Even during that time. Okay. So I was doing that, but it, because it was not coming yeah. to the television and the radio, people didn't know about it. Mm. But it, it was something that I was doing, going to outskirts. Okay. Yes. Doing the work of God and also wow. doing health screening in conjunction with wow. it. Yes. That's beautiful. So um, I was combining all these things, even during mm. that time. When I, 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 I get the call to go. Who am I to say no? Oh. I just do it. I, I can see that, you know, you understand uh, the call of both, you know, and you are passionate about both too, and you're able to do it hand in hand. Not yeah. a lot of people are able to do that. So exactly. big ups to yourself. Thank but you. then again, you have been in the industry for many years, like Riley said, 25, 25 years. years. Yeah. Like, that's a very long time. And you have seen the gospel industry. You've seen how things have evolved over the years. When you started... And now, what is the difference? So how will you say in today's era, how is the gospel music industry compared to back in the day when you started? Okay, there is a saying, um, I think Solomon uh, did, uh, said that, um, said that um, there is nothing new under the sun. Mm. There is nothing new. You know, whatever we are seeing now, it has happened before. Oh, yes. It's true. Um, things keep on changing but it's something that has happened before mm. and it's now coming back. Yeah. Fine. And one thing is that we have to embrace it. At first, um, the traditional music, I would say that uh, during that time, there was this, uh, a form of this urban gospel, but mm. it wasn't that loud compared to now. Mm. Now it's loud. That time, uh, most of the songs were programmed in reggae style. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that time it was reggae yeah. and worship and other, other things. And most of the time it was in chi. Yeah. We do have um, some English songs mm -hmm. here and there, but mm -hmm. most it was in, in our local dialects. But these days, um, the urban gospel and other um, genres has become, I mean, famous now. Yeah. And people are embracing it. And to me, it, it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, I hear people saying that, oh, the old songs um, were more spiritual than these days. And I, I, I stand to refute it because even the, in the olden days too, or the, those days, we used to have songs that were powerful and songs that were not powerful. Likewise, these days, the youth have powerful songs. Even though others will come out more powerful, it doesn't mean that it's the same. Mm -hmm. Like everybody's, like, all the songs are not mm -hmm. powerful or it's not spiritual. So that is my take on, on, on it. I, I like, I like, I like right. that very mm. well. And yeah. also, mm. all of the changes is that back in the day, yeah. it was straight up an album. If you right. enter the studio, mm. you're going to release yeah. eight, 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 eight or nine, ten songs on yeah. an album. Whether you yeah. like it or not. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> but now, uh, you're dropping single, single. Yeah. How, how are you adapting to it? Well, I think the single even makes it more easier because... Um, Unlike those days, right. you are you are forced. It's a must. You need eight or more songs <laughs> before you can. I mean, make an album, album. That is before you can even come out. But these days, it's single. So if God blesses you with 
a one song, song and it's yeah, good. You are good to go. Mm. And um, you know, during that time, there was some defect, one way mm. or the other. Okay. Some of the albums, especially if you look at my old, uh, the I Go Dance, yeah. Yeah. it had, it had, it, it mm. had so many good, yeah. powerful songs. Mm. All of them were on, on it, yeah. but because you you will not have the time to promote all, yeah. only one. So the one will come out, <laughs> that is it, and the others yeah, will, will somehow there. drag. Yeah. Unless somebody maybe buy the buys the um um the the uh, the CD the or CD the and it. it. But these days it's one. And that one, you were able to promote it and promote it well. So it's all for the I mean, rest. Yeah, th those were times that, you know, people have to concentrate on a particular song. But now I think, you know, as much as you can release a song, people are also able to, you know, pay attention to albums and that explore is what is in there. Yeah. There are other beautiful songs and they are able exactly. to promote. Or you exactly. can even take time, release them one after the other. After and, that, you and, put them and, together. And the, right. Yeah. But, you know, you had a lot of hit songs for a gospel musician. From many years, like almost every time you had a hit song. How were you able to do that? As I said, it has been a tradition or my a custom to me. Before I come out anytime, I wait upon God. Mm. And uh, after waiting upon God, I don't just come out. Um, after waiting upon God, I, I, I make sure that, you know, whatever you are doing, there are people ahead of you. Sure. In the music genre, yeah. we have the old musicians. Mm -hmm. I make sure that I, 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 I call all of them, most of them, so that at least we can judge you. Okay. Here's the song. What do you think about it? So I, did, I do them both the spiritual side and the, the physical, physical one. That is it. And I, I don't, I mean, like, I, 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 I want to say that um, I don't want to come out hurriedly. Okay, yeah, we're not I in a hurry to time. come out. Yeah, that is it. After waiting upon God, I make sure that I, I do the necessary things. Sometimes it is good to sit back, right? Watch whatever is going on. Yeah, after that, you have prayed, you have done everything. Sit back and you know the strategies that you are going to use. It's, it's true, God will give you a direction mm -hmm. and other things, but you too, you need to strategize. So that has been okay, that is it. My, I, I, I like that because, you know, a lot of people might think you don't have to come by. I hear from God, so that's the end of, mm, of the story. Yeah. But you are able to strategize. So I think, especially young folks who think that, oh, we are not in the business part, we don't want money, we don't want this, can take a cue that's, from a legend true. who has, you know, been able to give so much to society. Mm. Well, uh, we, we've got a few minutes to go. We'll yeah. talk about Edda Hall. Edda Hall Pefe. Edda Hall Pefe. <laughs> but <laughs> what... What is your biggest song, or what was your biggest song? And I hope if you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wanted, I wanted to get into. That is the character. Oh no, of course, oh no, of course. I mean, I mean, I, I, I've, I've listened to Ada Hope if you. I like the production from um. Yeah. Kewa. Yeah. But your biggest one will be. That one. Ada Hope if you. Anyway, let's talk about Ada Hope if you. Um, coming into a new space. Yeah. Um, things have changed, evolved, and all that. So, how are you feeling? What was the then like, okay, mate, trying to say any, like, how was it for you? You know, as I said earlier on, mm. yeah, it was quite a long break. So apart from the spiritual side, I made sure that um, my team and I mm -hmm. sat back for some time and we watched how the train was going. The train was going. So we made sure that we also would do something. Mm. Apart from the fact that you have prayed everything, that will be in the same direction with whatever is going on. Yeah. That is it. So, especially at first, it was just the traditional media. These days, social media. Social media is part of it. Day, yeah. Yeah. You can't do one and leave one. So now we are, we are we've made sure that we incorporate the two of them. Of social media and the traditional media. And it's working. Because that is what is going on now. Mm -hmm. You can't do one and leave one. Yeah. But you know, um, my take, apart from the social media and other things, um, these days we are talking about digital platforms and other yeah. ones. Well, we are on the digital platforms, mm. and um, I don't dispute it. It's a good one. But for me, or to me, I think that um, it, it is good to combine the pen drive and the CDs together with the digital platform. The fact being that um, some people will want to play your songs in their cars. 
early morning when they are going to work or something. Mm. And if they ha have their pen drive, and most of the pen, uh, cars have their pen drive, the same player, yeah, the insert, and the other, yeah. that is it. So to me, we can combine the, all of them in order to make production, I mean... Well, I, I could understand your arguments from, from a point, <laughs> but, but of course now it's been digital, <laughs> digitalized all through, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, people, but people still do. I'm up for try. Uh, you mm -hmm. like a yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. You, go, you go to the churches. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, when this song came, <laughs> I've, I've, I've been having series of calls and even um, audio uh, messages. Yeah. Oh, and you mean the power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 that you appeal to yeah. back then, mm -hmm. women then to exactly. a certain point now and may not necessarily understand. No, you know, I'm updated with even times. Even most of my, of my audience are the mm. youth. Okay. It's mm -hmm. between um, 20 mm -hmm. to 50. 50. That mm -hmm. is it. Okay. okay. It, you know, I have had the, the chance to, I mean, do all these analysis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those who are doing the digital, who are like, okay with it, they should go ahead. They should go ahead. Mm -hmm. And but those... Our fathers and our fathers who doesn't know, <laughs> who, who don't know how to do it, they should also they need go that on. Yeah. So that is it. Why you be that? Ah, my be that dada. Okay. My be that dada. And, and it's just moving one, for you. Just one is um, Philip Abbey Classics. Okay. Oh. It's the same on the digital platform. Yeah. Okay. So the old songs plus the new one. All together. True. That is it. So if you want it, yeah. you can download it on the digital platforms. Okay. Audio Mark. Spotify, yeah, yeah, yeah. you name it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 